Hey everyone, Jim and Chris back with another update. Big question today, block versus wood frame construction. We get this question all the time and a lot of you have uh, bought properties with us in different markets and we do a combination. We do both block construction and wood frame. Uh, so we wanted to go into the weeds a little bit more on this because people seem really concerned. Uh, I can tell you from a personal standpoint, I live one property off the beach uh, on a small barrier island near St. Augustine, Florida, and my house was built uh, about 15 years ago wood frame. Uh, so for me personally, uh, when I decided to choose uh, a home that I always wanted to live in right next to the beach near the intercoastal, uh, I wanted to make sure it was obviously in good integrity. Uh, and wood frame was just fine for me for a couple of reasons I think that Chris is going to share with you. Because what I've learned with the newer property, uh, both uh, can be great. Uh, and sometimes, uh, I know Block has always had this bigger reputation for being better, but especially on older properties, it can actually be worse. So Chris, you are really the building master. When, when it comes to it, you know this part of the game a lot better than me. Can you kind of just dive a little deeper onto the difference in what you see with, with both options, which can be both great options, but I think wood frame also has gotten sort of a, a stigma against it. Well, you know, I think, you know, here, here's the thing. In Florida, you know, there's kind of been that dividing line, which is, which is shifting, which is kind of the north part of the state versus the south part of the state. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you see in Palm Coast and, you know, Ocala, they're still northern, but they're kind of, they're kind of the uh, the dividing line, and then south of that has been primarily block, you know, since the 50s. Mm. Well, all of that's changing now, and uh, and part of the reason that all of that's changing is all all of these hurricane codes have changed. Yeah. Um, and it, all houses. So for Florida, you know, the biggest question that we get, particularly for folks in California, is, you know, is about is about hurricanes. Yeah. You know, what you Big know time. what what's going to happen in a hurricane. And I'm like, man, I'm more concerned about what are you going to do with all those wildfires? But, you know, but when you're, you know, everybody eats to their own. You get used to, you living, get used with, to, you get used to living with what you get used to living with. And uh, we're used to living with hurricanes. You guys are used to living with uh, with fires out there in California. We had a few earthquakes when I was out there, too. There you go. Yeah, you got, yeah, you got a double whammy. <laughs> but um, anyway, so, uh, you know, really here in Florida, you know, we just want to make sure that the homes can withstand hurricanes. Uh, First of all, most of the homes that we build are very far inland. Uh, we're not building any coastal properties, which is you know really what gets battered the most. Uh, but beyond that, both block and frame construction homes have to meet the same wind codes. So they're built different ways and there's different uh, construction methods to make sure that they meet those wind codes, uh, but absolutely have to meet the same wind codes and same wind standards uh, in order to get a building permit. So this isn't something where, hey, you know, Chris knows how to build a house and he's building a house that can withstand the wind better than, you know, than the next guy. The, the, there's a code, you know, building code that we cannot build anything that does not withstand these certain hurricane requirements. And there's certain ways to do it with strapping the roofs, so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, the, the real reason that there's been this dividing line in Florida for so many years between frame and block has really been trade base more than anything else. Mm. Uh, so in Jacksonville and the northern parts of the state, uh, you know, it's been frame construction because there's just not that many masons here. And so, you know, if you go build a home, a block home in Jacksonville right now, it's insanely expensive because there just aren't the trades available to do it. And the few trades that are here that do know how to build with block construction, they charge accordingly, you know, supply and demand. Um, so, you know, so that's why you only see frame construction from us in the Jacksonville market. However, what we're seeing in these South Florida markets and with the changes that have happened in the wind codes over the last 20, 30 years, uh, and, and national home builders coming in with, you know, really well-built frame homes because of these codes, is we've started seeing frame construction pop up all over the state. And that is from Palm Coast to Ocala to Southwest Florida. And, and so for us, as a, as a builder and a supplier of product, we look at what is going to be the most cost effective for our clients? Because we're, the, the product's going to be the same. So it's going to meet the same building codes. So what's going to be most cost effective for the clients? Well, for those of you that were buying homes from us, you know, uh, you know, a year ago, two years ago, when lumber prices were absolutely skyrocketing and through the roof, we were real happy that we were building block in a lot of our markets. 
now lumber prices have come back down, concrete prices are through the roof. It's just this roller coaster that we can't seem to get off of. Uh, so, you know, what we're looking at is in, in all of our markets is doing a combination of block and frame homes. And, and the real reason for that is, is just to make sure that with all these fluctuations, we have different product types that we can build in different times. So, you know, we've got our 16, 17 square foot home that is a block home. The exact same home is a 1607 square foot home that we build out of frame. So when you change from block to frame, you know, the interior square footage has changed, you know, uh, uh, minutely. Uh, but, you know, we're gonna be building that same home, same floor plan, and right now we can build it a little bit cheaper with frame than we can with block to try and keep the pricing affordable. And that's, you know, that's really what you see a lot of folks doing across the state right now. So, uh, you know, to Jim's point, you know, there's, there's no inferior, inferiority to, uh, you know, to frame construction. Actually, all of our frame construction right now is cladded in concrete, concrete board. Um, so we use a Hardy product uh, that clads the whole exterior of the home. Hardy is a cement board. And, uh, and so, you know, so you get the same wear, you know, that you would get from a concrete home, meaning that you're not having to replace wood on the side of your home, uh, which was, you know, back in the day, what people used to think about when they thought of frame homes. Because frame homes used to be not only frame studs, but also yep. wood slats on the exterior. Well, you know, we don't do the wood slats on the exterior anymore. It's all hardy board or some, some sort of cement board. Uh, so you get that same, you know, really long, uh, long wearing siding uh, that you would get from a block home. Yeah, and I think overall the question always is, well, what about you and Chris? I own block homes, I own wood frame homes. Chris owns block homes, he owns wood frame homes. Yeah. How are they built? Again, for my personal residence, it's wood frame and it's one off the ocean. As Chris said, that's a higher danger risk, uh, but the home was built correctly to standards that were set after 2004's Hurricane Charlie decimated Southwest Florida. Uh, which we just went through an even stronger hurricane and we held up great uh, because it was built at those new standards. So how is the property built? If you guys are looking at properties around Florida, we, we recommend whether it's block or wood, is it built to today's standards after the 2004 upgrade in requirements? That's what we really look for. And at the same time, not only with strength, we need to get you guys the best return on investment. Again, this is a build to rent program to get you rental returns, to get you cash flow returns. And if we're building too expensive and it doesn't come back in, in rental yield, we're not doing our job for you. So we want to get that equilibrium. And I think we've struck a great one, as Chris said, using both in different markets and at different times uh, and still producing that same strength of a product and overall return. So um, we really have a 50-50 on this. We own both. We work in both. Uh, and we encourage you to look at both. Um, and if you have any other questions, us or our sales team is happy to discuss deeper with you. Next time, we'll talk to you more. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one, everyone.